ChatGPT. Mid Journey. Runway ML Gen 2. What world are we living in? What world are we living in? Is it really doom and gloom for us all? Or do we have the capacity to survive and thrive going forward? The YouTube thumbnail that you clicked on for this video was not generated by me, but was generated by this simple prompt that you see here. Two massive, intimidating robots standing over a human and the human looking stressed. Aspect ratio 16 by 9. There. Look how detailed this is. Absolutely crazy, right? And that's just text to image. Now we get in text to video, right? So we get in companies like Runway that are doing just that, text to video. It's coming out shortly. As soon as it does, I'll be covering it here on this channel. But quickly, I'm just going to read this out. No lights, no camera, all action. Realistically and consistently synthesize new videos either by applying the composition and style of an image or text prompt to the structure of a source video, video to video, or using nothing but words, text to video. It's like filming something new without filming anything at all. So aerial drone footage of a mountain range driving prompt, and that's where it generated. Absolutely stunning and crazy, right? This is the most craziest, I think, in terms of accuracy. The late afternoon sun peeking through the window of a New York City loft. How bloody accurate is that? It's absurd. Look, the details of even the window, the plants, everything. It's just, wow, this is mad. This is mad. And then this here, a long angle shot of a man walking down the street, illuminated by the neon signs of the bars around him. And then this as well, input image, and it's able to make it like, move and like add dynamism to it. This is crazy. So this begs the question, guys, are we really like doomed here? Because imagine this, yeah, and then this converges with ChatGPT. So ChatGPT comes up with the storyline and it comes up with the characters, like the plot for the characters. And then you bring those characters to life by telling, giving it specific instructions in mid journey. Like imagine a character that's tall and big and that like purple monster, for instance, and it actually does it. And then you're able to create that into like an animated character. Surely now the whole creative process is like replaced, right? Illustrators, photographers, videographers, you name it. So what do you think guys? Do you think it's moving at such a quick pace that we can't possibly keep up and a lot of our jobs will be disrupted? Or do you think that there's actually a way out and that if we, you know, spend a bit of time to learn that we can actually come out on the other side? If you think it's the latter and we can spend time to learn and come out on the other side, I'm actually going to be creating a content engineering series on this YouTube channel that's going to be able to spew out things like you see there, right? Or you see here, yeah? So there's a particular formula of how you create this particular image or this particular image there or that particular image there, right? This type of artwork style. So stay tuned to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Vey and yeah, I hope to see you soon in a new video. Thanks for watching.